my channel, Naturally Beautiful Girl. So one of the products that's caught my attention recently was this from Alima Pure. One of the reasons it caught my attention was when I was transitioning from conventional beauty to green beauty, I had a really hard time finding an eye primer. As in there really weren't any eye primers. I found one from Gabriel Cosmetics and I had been using that one. And then I later found one from Red Apple Lipstick, but I haven't tried that one yet. Um, but more or less, other than those two, I really hadn't seen any eye primers. And as someone that has oily skin and subsequently oily eyelids, and as you can tell from my eye shape, my eyelids are very hooded, my eyeshadow loves to crease and just get all over the place. Like it is really hard for me to get my eyeshadow to stay for any period of time where I originally put it on in the morning. In the space of an hour, my eyeshadow can transfer from my lid up to my crease area. And by the end of most days, my eyeshadow is really kind of faded and it's not at all, it doesn't look at all like what it was when I first put it on in the morning. I was really excited when I saw a new eye primer, especially from a company like Lima Pura. I was thinking, okay, maybe this is our solution in green and eco beauty to something like the Urban Decay Primer Potion or the Too Faced uh, Shadow Insurance. So I had to try it. I had to try it. And I have to tell you guys, this is an expensive little booger. Like, can you see how small this tube is? It contains 10 milliliters of product. It is tiny and it costs $26 for this. So I really, it, part of me wanted it to work really well and part of me didn't want it to work. And I have to say, this is pretty darn incredible. Like this by far and away has changed my eyeshadow game more than any other product I've so far found. In, green and eco beauty. So let me start out with talking about it. So it comes out and there's, um, it comes out and you can see there's a little bit on the tube there. I don't want to squeeze any because it's so expensive, but it's, um, kind of, it comes out as a flesh color, but it's not, it dries down without any real color. It goes on like a liquid, but then it dries down very, very quickly. And in fact, it's actually a little oily when it first comes out of the tube. And I know that sounds weird, but it's like instantly dry. Like once you put it on, it's dry. Like it is not oily at all, which when I first squeezed it out, I was like, what is this? I don't want to put something that's oily on my already oily eyelids, but I think it's just the, I don't even think it's necessarily oily. I think it's just more runny than what I'm used to. So it just kind of comes out really easily and then, but it dries basically instantly. But this eye primer more than anything else has increased the pigmentation of my eyeshadows. Like that in and of itself has been just mind blowing to me. Like I remember the first day I put this on and I was using Root Sweet Tea eyeshadow and I had never had a problem with that eyeshadow. I always thought the pigmentation was great. I thought it blended really great, but then when I put it on after using this eye primer instead of the Gabriel Cosmetics eye primer, my socks were just blown off. I was like, I just like swiped, you know, the color in my crease and I'm like, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I've never seen it come that pigmented onto my eye. Like obviously when I had like swatched it with my finger, it had been really pigmented and I had always been able to build up the pigment on my eye, you know, going back over and dipping into the product several times. But like with this, it just went whoosh and it was like instant color on my eye. And what's even better about this though, is it blends really easily. It's not like, oh, with this, I get this pigment that's like stuck on my eye where I originally laid it down with the brush. It's easy to blend out. But when I blend it out after using this eye primer, I don't lose the product. Like it's still there. It just blends out really easily. So that is really crazy too. And I find that it also does help my eyeshadows stay on longer and not crease. And I will say this with a caveat, at the end of the day, my eyeshadow is still faded. It still creases some, but not nearly as badly as it was before. So it hasn't completely solved the problem for me, but the fact that it has made a significant difference in the longevity of my eyeshadow is crazy. Like I'm filming this at night right now and I have worn my makeup all day today. When I came home before filming, I sat down, I touched up my makeup, I touched up my eyes some, but compared to what I normally have to do to touch up my eyes, this is 
so much less. I just kind of dabbed a little bit more um, eyeshadow on my lid and then just kind of took a big fluffy blending brush and kind of blended out my crease a little. And that was it. It wasn't like most days where when I don't use this eyeshadow primer, I basically have no eye makeup on my eye. I kind of have to start all from scratch because it's all just faded away. So that is really, really impressive. So as much as I didn't want to love this product, I really have come to love it. And because it is such an expensive product, I'm not going to say everyone needs to run out and get it. Although you kind of do because it really has changed the way I look at my eyeshadows because um, I'm going to show you here in a minute with an eyeshadow that I was struggling with the pigmentation with it and how much more pigmented it is when I lay it on top of this primer. If you are someone with oily eyelids and hooded eyelids and you have problems with your eyeshadow creasing and just fading away, this this is really, really helpful. And also I have to admit the ingredients are pretty clean in this. They're not irritating my eyes and we know I have sensitive eyes. I'm not having a problem with this. It's what we needed all along and I kind of knew we needed it, but I don't know if you guys knew we needed it. It's just, we needed it and here it is. <laughs> which is pretty great. So uh, eyeshadow that I always had a little bit of a pigmentation problem with has been this one in the Naked 2 palette. And um, it's the shade right here, this kind of golden shade, and it's called Beam. And this eyeshadow is really the one that made me realize the power of this eyeshadow primer because I wear this eyeshadow palette a lot. I think I'm just kind of, I, I really love it because I love being able to just grab this and do a whole face look with just one palette except you know obviously I need to pick up a matte color to use as a transition shade but basically other than that this is a full cheek highlight eyeshadow look right here so I find myself even though I don't love the pigmentation I use this a lot so I was using it and I decided I would try it out with the eyeshadow primer because I'm I've been trying this eyeshadow primer with basically every eyeshadow that I own because I wanted to make sure it played well with all the formulas and it it has, it has. It has played well with everybody. It's played well with the Root Press and Loose eyeshadows. It's played well with Honey Bee Garden's eyeshadows. It's played well with the 100% um, Pure shadows in this palette. It's also played well with the Lily Lolo palette that I just picked up. Gabriel Cosmetics eyeshadows with Pacifica eyeshadows. Basically, it's been doing a great job with everybody. But because I've been having a problem with this one, and it made such a dramatic difference in how this eyeshadow performed. That's what really sold me on this um, eyeshadow primer. So I want to show that to you. So I'm going to pick up the color here on this kind of, uh, this brush like this. And I'm just going to swatch it on my hand here for you so you can see. So I just swatched it right here. I don't know if you can actually see much of anything. I'm going to actually grab a little bit more because... I'm not 100% sure you can actually see this. Like, that's what I mean by having a pigmentation problem with this. But yeah, I don't know. I'll move my hand back and forth. You might be able to see a little shimmer. That is that eyeshadow on there. And so I'm going to put a little bit of primer, um, the Alima Pure Eye Primer, next to it. So here it is on my finger here. And I'm just going to put this right here on my hand. And... The primer's right here, but I just wanted to show you it right here on my hand before I put the eyeshadow on, just so you can see that it really has no color. So it does no color correcting or anything like that. It's just, it's basically a clear eyeshadow primer, completely colorless. It dries down really fast, so it's already dry. If I touch it here, it's completely dry. So what I'm gonna do is grab a little bit more of the eyeshadow here on this brush, and I'm gonna swipe it on where that eyeshadow primer is and just kind of get on there. I'll do a little more. There we go. So here you go. You can see it here with the eyeshadow primer and over here without. And I mean, it's still not super pigmented, but I mean, to me, that is a dramatic difference. It, it's I mean, it, to me, I was just blown away. Like you can see how much more shimmery this looks. It gives it more of that wet foiled eyeshadow look, which I mean, that's pretty awesome, especially for natural eyeshadows like this. So if that didn't convince you of how awesome this is, I mean, obviously like it's not 
Obviously it's not giving this eyeshadow a ton more pigment because it just doesn't have a lot to begin with, but I mean, you can see how much more shiny and just dramatic it looks on the eyes. And I, I, I'm just obsessed with this. This is definitely an amazing, amazing product. I wish it wasn't so expensive. Um, I think a good thing to do is to keep your eye out for sales. So I know Safe and Chic, the website sells Alima Pure and they have sales every once in a while. So I would keep your eye out for sales there. Lima Pure right now is having a foundation sale, um, but it only is for their foundation and concealer products and not for this. But if there's a sale somewhere where you can get this, I would definitely check it out. Like, it's pretty mind blowing. It's great. And it is what we have needed this entire time in Green Beauty. So I hope you found this video useful and maybe a little bit entertaining. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Also check out some of my other videos. I think you might like those as well. And check out my Instagram. I'll have my handle down below. It's at Naturally Beautiful Girl. And I will see you next time. Bye.